Hey everybody, welcome back to another Momentum Monday. Today we're gonna to talk about how to add Google Tag Manager to a Squarespace website. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell icon. Stay tuned for all the future uh, episodes. We're gonna be talking about different things related to digital marketing and how-to tips and tricks. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, we're bringing the latest and greatest uh, digital tips to you every week. But let's get into how to add Google Tag Manager to a Squarespace website. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create a Google Tag Manager account. Uh, what you'll do is just type Google Tag Manager into search. If you have a Google or Gmail account, uh, you can get it for free, tagmanager.google.com. Log in or create your account. I'm gonna move this back. <laughs> um, back to the notes. From there, you're gonna to wanna to create a new account and container in Google Tag Manager. Uh, we're gonna use this one for the example, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is hit create account. You know, I'll just put test here for now, choose your location. I'll put test again. You're using it for a website, choose web. That's what we're gonna be talking about today with Squarespace. Hit create, go through this, accept the terms. Google wants all your data, as always. Thank you, Google. Uh, hit create, and so I'm getting text. Next thing you're gonna do is you're immediately gonna get the header and body tag that you're gonna to wanna to copy and paste into your Squarespace website. It's honestly very easy. So let's copy this first one. It says paste this code as high in the head tag as possible. So copy this code here. You're gonna to wanna to log into your website where you're gonna use my friend's website. Once logged into Squarespace from the home screen, uh, you're gonna to go to settings and then you're gonna to go to, sorry, this is in the way. Go to advance. From there, you're gonna choose code injection. And you're gonna see that you can paste it into the header, footer, uh, or confirmation tag. If you're in GTM and you already have your account, uh, you're gonna to wanna to go to, let's see, admin, and then install Google Tag Manager. This is where you get the codes, paste that. And then instead of the body tag, we're gonna take that GTM code for your account, paste this body tag. It says paste immediately after the opening body tag. It works the same if you just paste into the footer tag. So that way it goes on every page. Uh, from there, all you need to do, you can scroll down, you can see other pages here. Um, you don't need any of this. So what you're gonna do instead is just hit save. And literally that is it. So you've saved the tags. Uh, and then let's find out how we can test this. Let's go to Google Tag Manager here and we're gonna to go to Workspace. This is the container that we're in. And we wanna to go to Preview, which is gonna load the page. Let's just refresh that one time. And let's go to the website. It should pop up a preview mode, yes, down here. And it's working because we put a LinkedIn tag in here. Um, you can see that Things have loaded. You can also use Google Tag Manager. So for example, if we go to the website and you go to Google Tag Manager or Tag Assistant right here, download this as a Chrome extension. You can click into the Assistant, enable it to record. Refresh the page. and you see that Google Tag Manager is there now and active. All right, so follow these steps. If you have any questions, give us a call, send us a message, share this, subscribe. Thank you again. I hope you learned something today. And as always, keep marketing.